Welcome to the CTS Learning Series, Chapter 5, Testing a Non-OSS UOC Example. In this chapter, we will demonstrate constructing a valid non-OSS toolchain configuration file, demonstrate successful and failing conformance tests for PCS UOCs, PSSS UOCs, TSS UOCs, and IOSS UOCs and introduce conformance test reports that contain UOC conformance tests and explore how to read them. This chapter has the notable exception of OSS UOCs. This is intentional, as the project configuration builder for OSS UOCs contain a different user interface within the project configuration builder. Furthermore, the theory of testing an OSS UOC is slightly different than testing any other type of UOC. A demonstration of OSS UOC toolchain configuration construction, project configuration construction, and UOC testing will be shown in chapter six. The UOCs we will be testing in this chapter are the UOCs contained in BALSA. Although BALSA comes with project and toolchain configuration files pre-configured, so all you have to do is import them we will be manually selecting each option in this video series. This is in an attempt to demonstrate creating a toolchain and project configuration from scratch and the general workflow that results from that process. Thank you for watching. This concludes the introduction. In the next video, entitled Demonstration of Construction of a Non-OSS Toolchain, we will demonstrate the construction and validation of a non-OSS toolchain for use in Chapter 5, Videos 3, 4, 5, and 6.